Hello, Short Meetina once again from shortmeetina.com. Doing a really quick video recap for ticker HMNY. What you're looking at right now is a daily chart dating back to about April. Uh, so April of 2018, so almost two months. Uh, so the theme has not changed for the week. I think I've done, uh, this is my, this is probably my third or fourth video for the week. I've done several over the course of a month or so. Since this initial break, since this, uh, I want to say 10 to 18 year break at that $2 level when that support broke, I knew that there was more, again, not to reiterate what I indicated yesterday, but I knew there was more selling in store for Tika HMNY. And yesterday I said, based on the close and based on trading activity, there was going to be more selling today. And in fact, there was more selling today. I wish that I can provide you guys with uh, good news, right? And it would be beneficial to me because again, full disclosure, I am long HMNY. However, you know, based on today's trading activity, once again, just look at, all you have to do is look at volume, right? This is this is not rock and, rocket science, right? Selling, red denotes selling, right? Green denotes buying. Uh, right here, one, two, three, four, five, five consecutive days. Not one, not two, not three. There's It hasn't even gotten a bounce. It hasn't even gotten that dead cat bounce. Five consecutive days of continued selling on above average volume with range, right? And so far, the close has been so close to the low of the day, which signifies that there's more selling in store. So even today, right, we closed at a little above 40 cents. Today's low was 40 cents. So unless something miraculous happens, I'm expecting, I believe we're closed on Monday, I'm expecting continued selling into, you know, at least the beginning part of next week, right? So based on the chart, we're at 40 cents now, based on the chart, you know, I can't see it dipping below 30 cents. I think, right, I think 30 cents should be the floor, give or take a penny or two. 30 cents should be the floor. And once the floor is established, right, we have to start to base. So there isn't no, at this juncture, in my opinion, there's no, when are we going to get back to a dollar? When are we going to get back to 80 cents or $2? or that incredible high of 40 something dollar. That shouldn't be a topic of conversation right now for anyone that's long. I'm not even looking at that. What I'm concerned about right now is a couple of things. One, I think the company just needs to come out and disclose what's going on, right? Because this seems like insane, uncharted, unheard of, unseen in my over 10 years of trading selling. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm pretty sure within the upcoming weeks, we're going to find out. So just come out, disclose what's going on. That's the first thing. Second thing is, again, we need to find a floor. We need the selling to stop. Not necessarily go up. We just need the selling to ease off. That means all, you know, that means at that point, everyone that wants to get out is out and everyone that is shorting has covered. So that's what we want to see. We want to see, we want to see, uh, sh um, how shall we say? I want to see strong hands remaining in the stock, right? And I want to see the short sellers gone. Once that happens, we can start to talk about stability. We are not there yet. So I'm going to recap really quickly because it's a Friday night. So to recap, ticker HMNY, still bearish on this stock in the shorter term. We closed a little above 40 cents. I think I cannot see this going below 30 cents um, from this point on. Uh, so uh, again, more selling into next week, but I don't see a dip in below 30. That's my take on HMNY, still a beer, however long. So that's it. Short Me Tina from shortmeetina.com. Head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for listening.